radar tracking exercises. Fire B-2 is highly cost-effective because it has been built to be recovered and reused. After the mission, the drone can be guided to a suitable recovery site where it can be picked up by a helicopter or ship's crane. Moreover, a mid-air retrieval system has been designed for helicopter recovery prior to touchdown. After water recovery, a good crew can ready Fire B-2 for reuse in only 24 hours. After mid-air or ground recovery, in only 10. Recoverability is further enhanced by a number of flight safety systems. Below 15,000 feet, for instance, an automatic climb sequence is activated by the loss of engine power or by generator failure. At a safe altitude, Ordinary parachute deployment begins. A similar sequence starts when the command signal is interrupted for a predetermined period. Perhaps best of all, Fire B-2 is not just a drawing board concept but a supersonic drone system currently in wide operational use by all three United States military services and being adapted as a transonic research aircraft by NASA. And the Fire B-2 system is just beginning to grow. A new air-cooled turbine will extend performance to Mach 2 in excess of 60,000 feet. Design is complete on an increase for the internal fuel supply, which will cut the cost per supersonic target presentation by one half, while a consolidation of tracking beacons, command links, and data links will further minimize ground support and logistics. Training realism is still the essence of growth. Glint and scintillation effects are being added to the radar augmentation. In the area of IR augmentation, plume signatures will simulate fighters in afterburner. Today's combat environment is tough. No man, whether in the air or on a ship, can ever get the realistic training he needs from a subsonic target of limited maneuverability. Fire B-2 is fast and versatile. It flies smart, like another pilot. <laughs>